What is going on guys? Chris with Chernobyl's Comics and Pop Culture. This video today is exploring the differences of Marvel and DC's current facsimile reprint issues. So, personally, I've been picking up a lot of these. Like, I've been doing... Uh, I, I do a lot of my orders um, through previews on midtowncomics.com. Uh, so I, I do my monthly orders from them and I order them like three months in advance. So I get 35% off uh, cover price of any new issues. And I have been getting a smaller and smaller amount of, of pulls every month. So honestly, the most that I've been getting every month is like the facsimile uh, and the um, uh, True Believers. Uh, there's a couple random like issues that I'll get. I don't. I'm not really collecting uh, modern runs at this point, but I, I really love what Marvel and DC has been doing with their reprints. Um, I love the facsimile because they're not like um, you know a reprint that showcases it, like the True Believers as well. I mean, they're True Believer books, and you know they they have their own cover in everything to them. It takes away from it actually looking like the original books, right? So, uh, the point of the facsimile is to have the book look exactly like the originals. Of course, we have the current uh, cover price um, that replaces like the 12 the 20 the $0.35, cent, whatnot. Um, same as on the DCs. And then we have the modern barcode, right? But... When we open up the books, same ads and everything, it's all the same. So if we go to the back on, on the DC and the Marvel hit here, you know, when, looking at these, you, you wouldn't be able to tell that they're reprints, right? So what I'm doing is actually comparing DC to Marvel's and what I like about each and what I kind of don't like about each and which one I would choose over over the next now i am more of a marvel person i've always been that way uh even as a kid collecting but i will have to say dc's reprints i'm liking them a little better and let me explain so if we open each book here we will see as i was just saying that from the cover to the back of the book the books are exactly as they were issued in the 60s and 70s or whatnot, whenever they were originally issued. Um, each book does show the uh, original year of release. So we got 1966 for the DC. Uh, this was like 1970, what, 75 or something like that. For the Marvel, does the Marvel actually say? I didn't check. It does say that it's a, a reprint of Marvel Spotlight number 12. But I'm not seeing uh, the original year's release as it does on the DC. And I really like that. Because I, I really like that you could turn to the front page and actually have that information there. Alright. Now, the second thing is, the uh, in terms of differences with these books, is... The paper that it's printed on. So, the Marvel books are printed on the the, the current magazine type. Uh, you know, it's like a, a glossed page, right? And the good thing about that is it really makes the color pop. Uh, it, it gives the color a full gloss effect, which. A lot of the older books that are on the, the newspaper uh, paper, you know, obviously printing was a lot different then as well. But, you know, sometimes the paper would look dirty, right? Uh, the way the print would be on the paper, depending on the, uh, the cut of the paper. Some of the paper was really, really white. Some of it naturally came off white. Some of it looked a little grayish. And however the printer was that day going on that paper, you know, the, the colors could pop a lot differently from book to book. Moving over to the DC book, they are printing it on a newspaper type paper. Now, obviously, it's a much higher quality than what we would get in the 60s, 70s, and even 80s. Um, it is a lot smoother. It's not as granulated. Um, and that goes for the ink as well. The ink is still 
uh, solid, not granulated. You know, I, I think printing is different now where, you know, we're not, you don't see how uh, the colors would print. It would be the, the little dots and the way that the printers would read colors, you can really see the separation in the colors sometimes. And sometimes the different colors would uh, run uh, out of their appropriate lines. You don't get that these days, even on a newspaper type paper, because the technology of the papers is, is a lot better, obviously. Now, the one thing, though, is you can see if we compare now, uh, this, this book is kind of darker, though, like the colors are kind of darker. Or what's going on? It's like nighttime here. It's like nice and bright daytime. But you can see that the colors do pop a lot more on the modern magazine gloss type pages. Now you still you still have uh, more of a bland effect here. But I'm going to tell you guys, I really enjoy when I pick these books up. And I have the feeling of the old school type of newspaper paper in my hands and I'm turning the pages. I like that better. Like I said, the, the color pops a lot more. And if we're reading the book and really wanting that kind of visual appeal, Marvel hands down on this paper is, is uh, coming ahead of, of DC. But I personally, in terms of preference, I don't mind the color not popping as much. I enjoy the feel of this book and it reminds me that I am reading the original book from its era. So even though there's pros and cons about both, my personal preferences lean me to uh, liking what DC is doing better than what Marvel is doing. So I am going to put DC above Marvel and what they're doing in their uh, facsimile issues. Now, everyone out there might have their own personal opinions and they might pick Marvel for their reasons, but I'm going with DC. So that's my spiel, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. Are you picking up uh, all the current reprints and what do you think about how they look, how they feel? Do you like Marvels over DCs or DCs over Marvel or does it even matter to you? Do you like the gloss paper? Do you like the newspaper paper? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time.